All right, what's good, y'all? So I'm about to break down another sample. It's kind of a like weirder, weirder sample, but yeah, let's get straight to it. So as you can see, I start off with a little guitar right here and it sounds like this. got this guitar from splice and initially it was just one chord so it was this one shot right here off melodic post-punk splice pack and i just like the sound of the guitar so i imported it in fl so i just imported it to fl kept it the same pitch kept it in a minor and then i duplicated it pitched down the other one five semitones after that i moved it over here and i just chopped them up like this now we got this little guitar melody right here The effects I added on the guitar, I just took out a lot of the highs and the lows. I had added a reverb by Arteria. And after that, I added another sound to Splice. Here's what it sounds like. It just added a lot of character and like realness to the melody. I layered it with the lead bell from Analog Lab. And the preset is by Mike Fuego, and it's the Ben Bells preset. And here's the pattern. So if you listen to these notes, they're like kind of sliding. And together with the sliding hand on the guitar effect that I added, it kind of slide together. And right here, the last sound I added was just the lead. Uh, which kind of carries the whole melody. This is kind of like the main melody of the whole sample. And the preset is uh, lead. I just named it lead. I came up with this pattern right here. And for the effects on the lead, I also layered it with the little portal. And I went with the dimensions preset inside of the bloodline bank by Noah Kaz. Anyways, that's all the sections for the A part. I'm gonna play it right now. For the B part, I took out the guitar and I kept all the other sounds right here, but I, I just added a pad from Synology. So it's the same chord progression as the guitar had. So it's an A minor chord right here. And then I duplicated it, made it go down five semitones, just like how I pitched the guitar chord. After that, I just started messing around with some inversions. I pitched uh, this one up one octave and I took both of these, pitched them up one octave. And the preset is just ambient pad from the Juno 106 here in Synology. So now the B part sounds like this. For the C part, took out the lead just to let the sample breathe a little bit. And I came across these two accents in Splice. So here's the guitar. And here's the synth lead. So after a little bit of chopping, I layered them like this. And together with the rest of the melodies, it sounds like this. Yeah, just a little simple section right here. Uh, after that, I exported it right here. We got the final sample down here. Click this one, add one, and I made another section for it right here. Where I added the drums, regular two-step hi-hat pattern, uh, but I added a shaper box and I just went with the chopper preset right here. But when I add this, it sounds like this. After that, I added the 808. And just coming up with a simple bounce with some sliding notes and some pauses right here, you know. After that, a regular clap. Open 
pad right before the clap hits. Kind of beat, I think. Another open hat for more bounce. Did the same thing on the snares right here, so we got the same type of bounce, but with another sound. That's pretty much it for the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.